Now, what does it take to design screenshots that convert? In this video, we'll go over nine of our main tips and best practices to help you create effective app screenshots. Number one, demonstrate your app's features and core value. Screenshots should demonstrate your app's value proposition, the benefits users can receive from using your app, or the key functionalities your app provides. For example, Calm and Wordscapes both use their screenshots to focus on their value propositions. On the other hand, Snapchat and Temple Run prefer to highlight their main features. Number two, make sure your screenshots are aligned with the in-app experience. Screenshots should showcase what users can expect after downloading an app or game. This means that screenshots should stay true to the in-app or in-game experience. However, while you definitely can, it's not necessary to add phone frames to your screenshots to explicitly indicate in-app experience. This decision will depend on how much space you have, as it's more important to display a comprehensible and clear message. Here, Gates and Candy Crush nicely showcase the expected experience of using their apps, as the screenshots help users understand the true gameplay. Khan Academy screenshots highlight its brand identity and benefits, rather than providing a real look inside the app. This is actually against Apple and Google's recommendations. Our third point is to ensure that your screenshots frame your app in a specific, well thought out context. Although it's recommended to showcase the in-app or in-game experience, you can also optimize your screenshots to provide users with more context. For example, Mo is a meditation and sleep app. The midnight color and subtle moon and cloud graphics play their own part to help users understand the app's core purpose as an aid to fall asleep. The plant identifier PlantSnap does a good job to display the app's use cases. The screenshots help store visitors feel like they're already in an exotic forest, trying to identify unknown plants using the app. Compared to its competitor Plantin, whose screenshots incorporate darker backgrounds, PlantSnap provides more context with screenshots that visually appeal to its target audience. DoorDash was first known as a restaurant food delivery app, but now also delivers from grocery or convenience stores. The app now uses the background of its screenshots to indicate all the different products users can order and get delivered via the app. By doing so, the app manages to make its offerings very clear in a visually appealing way. These screenshots from hotel booking app, Orbits, show a beach in the background. While here, the app targets people looking for beach holidays, it should be mindful of store visitors that might want to download the app for a different reason. For people looking for a city break, these screenshots might not convince so well. So make sure to design screenshots that appeal to the majority of your target audience. Four, get creative with your background to make your app stand out. It's not always feasible to frame your app in a specific context using your background. However, there are other ways to be creative with the background of your screenshots and make your app stand out. For instance, we see here that Duolingo alternates its background colors to draw attention to each screenshot and maintain user engagement. This technique works well for Duolingo, but if you're also considering alternate designs, just be sure they don't overcrowd your screenshots and make your creatives appear too busy. Here, for example, Cash App screenshot backgrounds incorporate many visual elements and decrease cohesion. Also keep in mind that since App Store screenshots show in the search results, busy designs could cause more harm than good in terms of conversion. Other apps use the connected design style as a way to increase the harmony of their screenshots and reinforce their branding. 
For example, the delivery app Drizzly uses connected screenshots to convey progression and keep the user's attention on its creatives. Another example of this comes from the travel app Omeo. Omeo creates harmony by creating a background image that stretches across the first five screenshots. This really helps to show off the app's value propositions while keeping the design captivating and the main points legible. Or maybe the best example comes from Airbnb. Airbnb uses its first three screenshots to highlight a new major update. The background stretches over three screenshots and shows the breadth of new categories now available in the app in a very visual way. The team also smartly placed the phone frame on the second screenshot instead of the first to encourage people to scroll. Next. When designing your screenshots, don't forget to play around with visual pop-ups or captions. Pop-ups are used in screenshots to draw users' attention to specific features within the app. For example, Expedia uses these pop-ups to zoom in on different features, such as member price or free cancellations. Xero uses pop-ups to provide more context to the captions written at the top of the screenshots. Number seven, make your screenshots relatable or personable. Depending on your app's functionalities, it could be a good idea to add friendly or fun images and text to make your app seem more relatable. For example, the face filter app Selfish incorporates fun visuals while simultaneously showcasing its features and in-app experience. In general, people react well to unexpected and playful elements, but just make sure to stay on brand. Our eighth tip is a pretty powerful one. Add social proof to your screenshots. If your app has received any awards or accolades from trusted organizations, you should try to leverage this by highlighting them in your screenshots. Testimonials can also be super helpful as your potential users are more likely to believe the opinions of people who have already used your app. This tip particularly applies to screenshots on the App Store. In their metadata policies, Google advises against unattributed awards or testimonials in screenshots. Here's another great example. The Aura app highlights its star rating and some magazines in which the app was featured. Leveraging the fact that trusted players in your industry recognize the quality of your app will help users increase their trust, activate their interest, and be encouraged to join others to download your app and try it out. But be careful and don't use trademarks, logos, or testimonials without permission. Number nine, don't forget about legibility. One thing you should always keep in mind is screenshot legibility. If you decide to add text to your screenshots, remember that it will most likely appear on a small screen. To avoid adding too much text, we found that adding a maximum of five words to each screenshot works best. As you can see, H&M follows this best practice and delivers a clear and engaging message in just a few words. Amazon Shopping, on the other hand, adds a lot of text to its screenshots, causing the message itself to appear complex. Contrast and font size are also very important. To keep your text legible, follow Hulu's example and use a font color that contrasts with your background. Homescapes also makes its captions easy to read by adding a background color. Compared to Hulu and Homescapes, Screenshots from the travel app Hopper are not as legible. Follow Google's guidelines and don't add words that reference performance like best, number one, or top to your screenshot captions. References to deals and promotions should also be avoided. And you should stay away from calls to action like download now, install now, or play now. Finally, Make sure your screenshots also look good in dark mode 
and contrast with dark phone backgrounds. Be Real, for example, uses a black background and phone frame in their screenshots, which makes them blend into dark mode almost too much. Flighty, a flight tracker app, adds a black glow to the background. As such, the app doesn't really stand out in App Store search results. Calm, on the other hand, did a great job of featuring a phone with neutral colours that work just as well in light mode as in dark mode. So, these were our nine best practices to keep in mind when you design your App Store screenshots. But remember that these tips won't apply to each and every app or game. You, as an app marketeer, will need to identify and apply the trends that are most relevant to your product.